you. I'm a female bird named Shuet Efray. It's French for snowy owl. My father's from Quebec. I'm Alaskan, born here on the tundra in a nest high above the snow line on that tall mountain. I was only two weeks old when my mean brother pushed me out of the nest while our parents were searching for a rabbit because I told them I was tired of eating mice, that they could follow the hunter's trap lines. It shouldn't be that hard. My parents thought that was a really smart idea. They both flew high in different directions. As soon as they were out of sight, my mean brother started scratching me with his talons and yelled, you think you're going to get away with being a smarty bag of fluff? Not in this clutch. He pushed me hard right out of the nest. I fell and fell and rolled down and down right on a broken bottle of whiskey that cut me on the leg. I was stopped by a sign. Alaskan Pipeline Construction Camp. Manager's office is open 24 seven. I hobbled over there. The camp manager looked at me frowning when I hobbled in. He picked me up and asked me how I'd taste roasted. I did not think it was funny. I clicked my tongue at him to show him I'm annoyed. He laughs and finds a big box for me to sleep in and performs first aid on my cut. He's cussing all the time. Talk about crude. I know I'm young and innocent, but while they built a cage for me, their words turned blue in midair. My leg got better and I could walk around to make it stronger. I've never had such divine meals. I call the camp manager, Wally. Every day, he gets raw meat or fish from the camp kitchen. I didn't like it at first because it had no fur in it. I kept pointing at the pegs on the wall around the door. All hell parkas with fur around the hood. Wally finally got it and used scissors to clip a little fur to stir in my raw meat. Delicious. I'm so grown up now, I was cramped in the chicken wire prison. I couldn't spread my wings all the way. How am I ever going to learn to fly? Every time I catch Wally's eye, I push my wings out and press them against the sides and click my tongue Wally sticks his red beard at me. You don't even know what your wings are for. I do, I do. I watch my bird parents sail all over the sky. Wally, I was born to fly. The next day, Wally started me on an exercise program during lunch break. Everyone in the construction camp here on the Alaskan pipeline eats at the same time. I tell you, I drew everyone. Shuet Efray, he announced to all, needs strong wheels, wings. See, I'm tying a light rope around her left leg. As soon as Wally stood up, I started running to escape till the end of the rope jerked me back. Wally stood and waved his arms for me to run around and around him in a circle. The workers cheered me on. I can run fast. Look at my wings, almost five feet from tip to tip. If some wind would come up, I could probably fly now. My talons leave the ground for a few seconds and it feels so free. After only one week, he didn't get the rope. While he sat me down on the ground and I ran and ran and flapped my big strong wings and up and up I go. The crowd is yelling and cheering me on. I fly higher and higher until the people are small and the sun is bigger. And flying my way is a male snowy owl who's been doing flybys of my cage every day. 
he stops and flies beside me. Hey, beautiful, I've got us a nest lined with feathers. I wave my wings back at Wally, and I know where we can always bum a meal.